Jeremy Torres here with Harborfields News. I am standing here in Mr. Maryville's class where they are quietly working on their last final drawing. Um, excuse me, Mr. Maryville, can you please come here to the camera? Um, apparently, you went on a field trip. Can you please give us a little bit of information on that? A couple of weeks ago, we did go to the uh, museum in Roslyn called the Nassau County Fine Arts Center, and they had a nice exhibition on artist work, Alex Katz. And he happened to be an artist that I worked for for 10 years, and it was real lucky to have that body of work so close by that we could take the school to it, and it would be a field, half-day field trip, but it was a full day's worth of content. We just didn't have to travel. What do you think the most important thing about the Alex Katz Foundation that your kids learned about? The most important thing? Well, you'd almost have to ask them. I mean, it was important to me because it was sort of like old home week. I knew some of the pieces uh, intimately, having worked on them, helping Alex uh, create them. Uh, I thought it was a it was a body of work that belonged to the Whitney Museum. They were sharing it with us out on the island. Um, they were familiar with the process of what it takes to make a piece, so they could see if, see something kind of identify, perhaps having had some background information about it. Um, speaking about doing stuff, <laughs> Friday we had a guest speaker. Is that right? Yes, and Mr. Kenneth Yee came from MICA, which is the Maryland Institute and College of Art, and he came to give a presentation of his school, their school, uh, to entice students to come there. We, ha did ha we do have a student there now, Sabrina Amoroso, a very talented student, and he gave a very good detailed account of what's life like at MICA.